When graphing a line in my math lab, you have to be very careful to follow the instructions. For this particular problem, it asks us to use the graphing tool to graph the line, and it says to use the slope and y-intercept. If you use any other format other than slope and y-intercept to graph this line, it will count it incorrect. So to graph this line, first we have to know what they're asking us for. They're asking us to use the slope and the y-intercept. So looking at my equation, I see the slope is 2 over 1 and the y-intercept is negative 4, or 0, negative 4 if you write it as a point. So I go over to my graph tool, and a couple of things to realize. One is that you can click this magnifying glass, and if you do, it'll make this graph larger and easier for you to see. Second, you can pick different types of graphs. Now in our case, we're looking for a line, so we're going to click the line. And the first thing we're going to do is go to the y-intercept, which is negative 4. So we go to negative 4. And you see, when I sit at this point, in the bottom right-hand corner of the graph, I see 0, comma, negative 4. And I click with my mouse. And now as I move, you see a blue line appear. What I want to do is go up to 1, 2, and over 1, and click again. And this is the line that I'm looking to graph and then I'll press check answer and it'll say good job. Another example would be this graph here where it says graph using x and y intercepts. If I use slope and y intercept it will count this graph wrong. I have to use x and y intercepts. The y intercept is where x equals 0 so I set this x equal to 0 3 times 0 is 0, so I get y equals 3. So my y-intercept will be right here. It'll be at 3 on the y-axis. To find my x-intercept, I set y equal to 0. So if I make this a 0, I get 0 equals 3x plus 3. And if I solve that for x, I get negative 1. So I press my line tool. My x-intercept is at negative 1, and my y-intercept is at positive 3, and I press check answer, and I get a correct answer. This is how you would graph lines in my math lab. Be very careful to follow the directions, and again, remember, you can always press this magnifying glass and make it medium or maximize back to medium or back to normal or close. So instead of this tiny window, I could have worked in a window, say, this big, or this big. I like to use the medium window because then I can still see the problem. If you press maximize, then this information to your left goes away. So just another way you can do it. And of course, if you want more practice, you can always press similar exercise. I hope this has helped. If you have any questions, please let me know.